this video, I'm gonna give you guys some tips as to why you shouldn't get into tech. Number one, you can't get a job. That's right. This shit is fucking impossible, bro. Like, I'm not exaggerating when I say this shit. There was like this internship offer, which had like 100 plus applicants in 43 minutes, some shit like that. Bro, it's, it's tough. Trust me. Uh, it's not just a local problem that I'm having. Matter of fact, I live in a third world country and there's still more than, more than, there's too much competition. But I'm assuming, and I don't know how it's like all around the world, but as of the general stats and stuff, I can guarantee you this is not the best time to be in this industry. Because they want like senior motherfuckers, so it's like, if you're like a junior just trying to get your first foot in the door it's gonna be pretty rough for you so that's just the reality number two if you are not willing so it's not about like you know a lot of people have this like idea or like you know you probably start to study like w3 schools and then next thing you know you're making 120k a year which is very far from the reality trust me when i say this and another thing that i have that i also have to highlight is the fact that you never actually know everything in this industry um it's always you're learning something <laughs> so unless the thing about that is like every time so you know how like you have the like when you start like start doing something you're essentially gonna have like the curiosity to just explore more and more of it right think of that right okay so you're just gonna have this curiosity to just keep getting better and better at it hoping you would someday become an expert at it right that's never gonna happen <laughs> and that's that's something that i find myself victimized to as well victimized is that is that a word but basically you're never actually gonna know everything you're just it's it's gonna be a constant um cycle of just learning shit that's just the reality um another thing if you are getting into tech avoid tutorial hell this is something that i was in myself as well and i'm still kind of caught up in that you know that whole phase where you're just watching tutorials and you're just overwhelmed by the million different things this guy's typing on and it's moving so fast so you just give up end of the story don't do that the thing is even if it takes a long ass while to actually get your get your track properly get your truck track properly i don't have a script for this so i'm just speaking out of my head but even if it does take a while to actually just get on track um just give it time it's fine just go through the basics first and then just go for like these tutorials because these tutorials essentially like there's gonna be you know the first thing when I was watching a like tutorial when I was stuck in the whole like tutorial hair phase I was just you know constantly like trying to figure out well, what is this guy doing what is this package what it what the hell is axios like who I'm I just know how to like write like an if loop for loop the if loop that's not even a thing for loop and all all the basic stuff like when I was starting off right but then like the thing about this is like these packages so mind you this is this is a this is a, this is something that i wish a lot of people like had told me before i started there's gonna be plenty of packages and you're never actually gonna like wrap your head around like all these packages and the nine times out of ten these tutorials i'm, I'm standing at such a weird awkward position but nine times out of ten these like tutorials that you're gonna watch they're gonna be using these overwhelming packages the reality is like you don't actually like nobody actually knows like what each of these packages do the way they figure out what these packages do is by actually putting them into like real world um examples like you know projects and stuff so if you want to get good what you gotta do is just want, uh, master the basics and just move on from there do not focus on just you know you know my approach this is a very weird approach my work for some of you guys some of you guys but what i did was i found this like uh what was it man tutorial and then what I what I did was I was just copying this guy word for word. I was just typing what he was typing for like, I think a month, and then eventually I found so like I was I was just copying and pasting basically not copy and pasting but I was just trying to like memorize exactly like the exact syntax. I remember like the square braces and stuff. I was just I would just memorize that. So mind you, this was this was my first experience with JavaScript. So it was pretty rough and then eventually i had no idea what i was typing because at that point i was just memorizing a biology lesson and just you know typing it out like an essay <laughs> so um but then eventually i started to apply that so i started to make sense out of it because like every time i would run into a problem i would put it on gpt and the next thing you know it would give me like an example it would be like oh you're doing this wrong what are you even doing and then i would be like hmm, 
right how could i know i'm doing something wrong when i don't even know what i'm doing <laughs> so essentially that's exactly how i learned so little by little it started to you know develop and i would say i won't i won't say it's muscle memory but basically it started to develop and then the more you actually like apply it is the more you actually like i'm standing in such a weird awkward position which is why i'm like tweaking right now but basically you're always going to be learning stuff so just don't be overwhelmed by all these tutorials they're going to be using a million different packages and if that's you then just skip that uh just master the fundamentals and go from there but if you are considering this very much four things that you should you you can never escape is dsa op and uh software design and and testing of course basically uh, me personally this is this is really stupid to say but i actually still have no idea how to write a test properly i know all this stuff like jest and stuff for javascript and junit junit was it for java and stuff but it's i still can't wrap my head around like writing a test properly i know i'm ugh, what am i doing <laughs> but regard needless to say it's going to take a while but the one more thing speaking of taking a while right don't expect to just study a book you know a lot of people actually have this like idea in the head where they're like oh tech 150 115k in a year that's not the reality you don't you don't study a book and then just become like the next millionaire that's not how this works it's going to take a while and by this while i mean you you might more than likely like during your phase of just learning this you might likely just be home uh, not homeless but you won't really have a job so unless you have like other assets in your life which you've saved up for this time period i'm standing in such an awkward position my leg is literally killing me but unless you have like already saved up assets and stuff don't come into this industry okay so let me let me check if i'm recording the first play okay um yeah basically i'm just yeah pimp but in other words uh it's going to be pretty tough uh, but just again i'm standing in such an awkward position bro but in other words um it's going to take a while but i i think eventually you can land some sort of offer um but anyways what i was going to say is just focus on building stuff and you know just do it for the fun of it just don't be like overwhelmed by like all these different tutorials don't follow it i mean if you get stuck go for a tutorial try to figure it out but when you're starting off don't get overwhelmed by all these different things i mean maybe like maybe do the whole like you know actually now that i think about it do those whole like like 30 minute 20 minute type small tutorials there like if you if you're going towards like web development especially do those like 20 minute 30 minute um no no tutorials which like get you from like a to b that that would be like ideal but don't just continue with those like whole 8 hours i built this this whole web application in 8 hours you want you would you would never actually get like what's what's happening in this 8 hours i actually don't know like some of the tutorials most of the tutorials that i watched i actually have no idea what's happening in like most of them not not that i have no idea but i just still can't wrap my head around like all the packages and stuff they they have used because here's the thing 9 times out of 10 i use whatever package that i discovered and like not not exactly what they're using so again there might be better alternatives out there they're just using some sort of packages that gets the work done doesn't mean you should use it too <laughs> but apart from that it's just a learning curve uh, don't be overwhelmed there's going to be so many different resources and stuff and uh, it's going to take a while it probably will take longer than usual nowadays considering you know this whole competitive in the com- the uh, i can't even speak how competitive the competitive this industry is but don't be overwhelmed there's going to be opportunities but it's just going to take a while <laughs> i cannot guarantee how long this while that i'm talking about but whatever it is right but anyways um for me bless to say um oh and one more thing uh even even like dsa and stuff what's ironic is like even dsa and stuff is like not enough anymore you should probably like have like advanced math under your belt so that that way you can even like move to some position like ml you know that's the next big thing so yeah it's kind of a bummer because i never actually learned the advanced math so i'm kind of screwed there <laughs> if i had to move to something like ml that is but need to say you still have opportunities worst case scenario just develop your own bips uh, software as a service application that's that's going to work out too but again finding that that type of idea is going to take a while 
and you might sometimes even never discover some sort of idea like that so it depends on the type of person you are and how broad you can think so again i'm not saying it's a possibility for, possibility for everyone but I'm, not, I'm just saying it's not the end of the world but um yeah that's pretty much um all i gotta say as someone who's been and I've, i haven't like gotten my foot in the door yet so i don't even really know what the industry the, the corporate world is like but um, as someone who has been developing for a while and has a decent idea, a semi-decent idea as to what's happening, um, I would say this is basically the reality and unless you are, it's going to take a while, sometimes, I don't know, by, by a while, once again, I have no idea how long it is going to take for you because I can't, I can't predict and say, to give you like a form factor of like how long it's going to take for you, but needless to say, keep trying one day you will win so yeah that's pretty much all i gotta say and yeah